Hello, everybody. Um, I, quite frankly, um, my most popular video, or one of them, actually, is the drag videos. And, uh, well, I've been asked to do uh, tutorials, like, by a lot of people. Like, you guys won't stop asking. So, let's do it! Ah! First steps to being a successful girl is looking like one, obviously. So it is very important to have the perfect outfit. Not just any outfit, but the perfect outfit. You see, I have a lot of help because I have a lot, my, all my, most of my friends are girls. So, and girls love to play dress up. And so if you ask a girl to play, to dress you up as a girl, they'll do it. And they'll have a wide selection of styles for you to choose from. So that's good. But in this case, I'm home. So luckily I have the perfect outfit planned, a beautiful dress. So let's put it on. This is just a, I don't recommend strapless because they are a pain in the ass. So as you can see, this is the perfect color for me. Um, it's very slimming and um, you know, it's, it's uh, shows off the curves a bit. And uh, there you have it. Simple, but you know, classy at the same time. Now the next, oh shit. Now, Boobs are also very important. So it's important to have a bra that f not only fits you comfortably, but also fits the person that you're going to be. So take, for example, if you want to be sexy, generally the breasts tend to be bigger, right? But I like to be more like a cute kind of tease. So, you know, I'm going to be going for perky today. You know, and, and you know, putting it on is not brain science, right? I mean, it's just... that I have my brassiere on, I pack it with tissue paper. Toilet paper is also good. Some people use birdseed. Some people actually go the whole nine miles and buy silicone, but those are very expensive. Now, when I drag clean, I'm all about cheap. Cheap is good. Cheap is my friend. So, you know, tissue. And you want to make sure that they're natural looking. You know, don't just cram it in there and expect it to look like good breasts. That's just not going to work. Um, make sure they're even, make sure that they're not too bad. You know, it's good to tenderize them a bit. And, uh, if in doubt, ask a girl. So, now that I've got my boobs on... Oh. I'm one of those kind of girls. <laughs> Obviously, I can't just straighten my hair and use the length of that to be a girl. So, in this case, I'm gonna be using a wig. Now, if you ask most drag queens, they will tell you that the least important part is the wig. Because, you know, hair color, you know, who gives a damn? So that's why I'm going into, that's why I chose the black. As you can see, it's very natural with my skin tone. And um, from there, we're gonna, and as you can see, the magic's already beginning to happen. And um, from there, we go into the makeup. Now, because I'm a redhead, once again, pitch black, as black as you can get it, so I just want I'm going to use heavy, very heavy, um, whatever this is. So, I might have to stop, because I don't know if I can multitask good enough. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm just, you know, very carefully um, applying this to my lashes. You know, it's it's really not hard. Um, and it's scary at first, yes, but once you experiment, um, it's really not that bad. And um, so now that my eyes are perfect, um, and what you can do actually from this point is you can do some smearing to kind of help it gives you that kind of shadowy look, you know, it's... And, you know, it's important to, you know, be feminine. So, every step helps, which is why I'm going to apply just a tad, least bit amount of blush. Just around my cheek area. 
And, um, there you go. And, uh, now, people go nuts. Oh, shoot. People go nuts on the lipstick slash lip gloss. And it really is really important that you don't overdo it. So many people, um, will just lather that stuff on. And it's just so embarrassing sometimes how that can turn out. So I'm just going to be... And, you know, really, when we're talking about drag queening, subtlety is, quite frankly, what you want to go for. Because it's, it's very rare that um, girls will, you know, just completely, you know, go all out. You know, I mean, the average girl... Now, I know I stressed before that it was important to have very realistic boobs, but in this case, you know, because of my facial hair, the look isn't 100% perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the cleavage area. And, you know, this is very, you know, um, easy. Oh, damn. And there you have it. Now, from here, once you've reached 100% perfection, um, from here, you can accessorize with, you know, painting your nails that can help things along, um, jewelry, earrings if you can, you know, stuff like that. I don't generally recommend bracelets, or that is to say that I, I don't generally do bracelets, but, you know, and, you know, as far as hair goes for legs, I'm not willing to shave my legs at all. So, stocking, stuff like that. High heel, high heels aren't actually necessary because you can just get flats or girly looking shoes and be fine. Because, quite frankly, only the girls will be looking at what shoes you're wearing, you know? So, that's just the way it is. And, you know, I've, co I've come in a drag with my big-ass Converse's and no one's noticed at all. So, you know, it's, it's really no big deal. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. So, I hope you have fun exploring the world that is drag, and uh, I'll see you there on the dance floor. Like this. Bye! Oh, anyway, so overdo it. It's important not to overdo it. You know, subtlety is a real art in this case. So, you know, when you're doing the lips, you know, it's, it's really best not to, um, you know, overdo it, because you can totally fuck up. <laughs> Easy. Oh, damn. This. <laughs> I mean, the average girl doesn't bother with this kind of... <laughs> now, I know I mentioned... <laughs> oh, jeez.